continued your, your introspection with an intention to wake up to your glorious nature. Introspection, pulling away from extrospection, leads to transspection. You begin to see, not with your eyes, but you begin to see with your pure awareness, unobstructed by circumstance, condition, situations, people, places, things, brain memory of the past that's producing personality constructs that keeps you living the past over and over again. You are resetting by becoming still, introspection, moving into a transcendent, a transcendent awareness of that which is real and that which is true with your continued intention to become more aware that you are awareness, your energy changes, your energy structure changes. You're not merely a reactor to the external. You're not merely repeating and allowing your brain, your body, the chemicals of your body to be determined by any opinions that you're holding about yourself or holding about someone else or holding about a circumstance or a situation or something out there. Your introspection leading to transpection allows you to have a reset where you come back to the beginning. The beginning of what? Each and every one of us have emerged from an eternal presence, life, Love, beauty, intelligence. We're coming back to that as a daily starting point. So when you wake up in the morning, before you move into your daily round of activities with your opinions flooding your mind as the way you think the world is and the way you think the world should be, no. You wake up and you have an awareness that there is a field of infinite potential. It is unknown to the personality that has been forged by experience. And you begin to feel intentionally who you want to be. You feel intentionally all of your needs are met. You feel intentionally that life is for you so that the chemicals that begin to flow through the body temple begins to uh, give you a future not based on your past or your opinion but a future that's based on the eternal now. The awareness of who and what you are and whose and what you are. You belong to the eternal. You belong to love. You belong to beauty, intelligence, joy. You belong to abundance. You belong to life. You're an emanation of life itself. And so to think other than that is to limit the eternal law of emergence to a limited point of view perception or paradigm. You are misusing the law of mind in action. I say you are becoming lawless. You're misusing the law. And so many people wake up projecting their past into the future, living from their limited opinion about what's possible for their life limited to their opinion about how they think about others and how others should be living their life. Not you, not here, not now. You have begun the art and science of meditation. You've had a moment of evocation, a moment of prayer, a moment of stillness. And with this awareness of what I have just said to you, all of that undergirding of an awareness within myself that all that there is 
is the presence and the power and the love, the beauty of life underneath the word that is being spoken. The word is a carrier wave of that frequency. And with thousands of people at this moment, tuning in this moment and other moments as people wake up from different time zones and participate in this way of meditation service throughout the course of this week and month. The past, the present, and the future collapses and that which is happening now explodes throughout the consciousness of humanity. And behold, all things are made new now. So wake up to the eternal and infinite possibilities that are within you. Do not limit yourself to past experiences or the stories of your past experiences. Begin to rewrite the mystery of unfoldment. Today is a good day. Today all of my needs are met. Today I am overflowing with joy and harmony and the happiness. Today I feel that I am duly supported and that all of my needs are met. Today I know that life is for me and there's nothing against me. I know this in this moment. I feel it. That feeling provides a revealing that we call a healing which is a revelation of that which is eternally true about you. Let us be still for another few moments and obtain in consciousness. Consciousness is primary. Obtain in consciousness the eternal broadcast that is being broadcast everywhere simultaneously throughout the cosmos and beyond saying in substance let there be light and love and life and beauty you'll come to know you don't think thoughts you obtain them in your awareness from the broadcast of the divine mind of which your mind is an emanation of the only mind that there is. That's another teaching that we'll get to later. Right now, be still and to know the I am God is in the midst of you. Here, now. Now, here. Know where, everywhere right where you are. Take another few moments of pure stillness, silence, and sacred solitude.
just take a pure inhalation. Release the sound of ah, ah. We give ourselves permission to be lifted up into the realm of thanksgiving and gratitude for no reason whatsoever. We're just grateful and thankful as an attitude and as an altitude in consciousness rising up in our frequency. As I've taught over the years, we are here to change our vibrational address. Our energy. Change our energy, we change our life experience. So we become so grateful and so thankful that the energetic within every cell of our being is shouting possibility, potential, availability to more good than we could imagine. We're just grateful. Our energetic address is gratitude. We're recognizing the presence that is everywhere. Therefore, it must be where we are. And it's from this awareness of sacred unity, sacred oneness with all of life. The vibrational word is spoken for each and every one of us with the full awareness that there is only one of us here. One power, one presence, one life, one intelligence, one love emanating through the myriad expressions of divine creation. The word is spoken for our freedom today, our spiritual liberation. That we may go forth today representing, being a divine representative of the all that is according to our uniqueness. And so we live in the awareness that something wonderful is happening right here and right now. It bypasses the repetitive thought forms emanating from personality constructs. Something wonderful is happening. We feel into that dynamic and we let it be so. We give thanks for this and we allow it to be itself as us. That's why we can say, and so it is. Amen and Amin. Now, so be it. As we open our eyes, we give thanks for the gathering of individuals all around the globe. Great shout out to Rhythmia Life Advancement Center family there perhaps tuning in at this particular moment. Give thanks to the Reverend Kim Terranova who stood here last week and is now at Rhythmia. John Jacob who was teaching, John Jacob Mabalik who was teaching. We give thanks to Paula Castro who came through and held the consciousness and all of the beings that I had an opportunity to, to be with in the spirit of love. This is our opportunity to practice the law of circulation that is to be generative, tap into our generative nature and allow generosity to flow so that we may be permanently prospered. We don't, we don't become permanently prospered through, through hoarding. We, give, we become permanently prospered through giving and circulating and sharing and radiating and glowing. And so we take this opportunity as we prepare our consciousness for offering, donation, tithing, gifting, whatever name you want to call it, the nature is the same, we turn within and we give thanks for what we have to give today. We bless it exceedingly well, dedicating it to the knowing of truth that makes us free. We bless the spiritual community that in 2023 celebrated its 37th anniversary and touched millions of people around the globe. We give thanks for all the ministries, programs, projects, staff, equipment, evolutionary collaborations. And we continue to stabilize this perfect spiritual idea that continues to unfold known as Agape International. And all of this is happening now. And so it is. Amen. 
So as you are preparing your, your heart and mind to give, you can, if for those of you who are veterans in giving, you already know how to do it. Many of you are on the auto tithe program, which allows the giving to happen on a regular basis without you thinking about it, but it becomes such a part of your subjective that you live in the overflow consciousness. If you go to agapelive.com, you can register for the auto tithe program. But you can be re begin right now giving. There's a QR code on the screen. QR code means quick response. Take the camera part of your, your telephone, not telephone, wow, yeah. telephone. <laughs> your smartphone, put it in the direction of the QR code, it'll take you into a transcendental portal of agape. There you would choose the amount you wish to give today and the regularity of your gifting. You can do that right now on the QR code. So very easy. No paper, no fuss, no muss. If you have a yin to text or if you have some yin to give, you can text the word give to 424-321-6243. Takes you into the same portal, but it allows you temporarily to abate the itching that you need to text. Thirdly, or fourthly, or thirdly, because I did mention the website, but I'll mention it again. You can go to, directly to agapelive.com. Perhaps you're watching on the YouTube channel. Perhaps you're watching on Facebook. You can go right to your computer or your phone and go to agapelive.com. Choose the amount you want to, want to give on that donation panel. It looks like you're checking out, but you're actually checking into your prosperity. There you may choose to purchase some agape wear, some of our t-shirts, sweatshirts, etc. The mala, whatever it is, a book, book of the month. You check out, you're checking into prosperity and circulation. If you'd like to mail in your donation, make out your checks and money orders to Agape International. Send it to Agape International, 85, 85 what? That's what I thought, I'm just checking. 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211, USA. USA stands for the United States of America. We're seeking to make it united in consciousness. We're going to live in that united state of awareness until it embraces the entire globe. You can send yours in right away. I'll be right back. The Reverend Julie Moret is going to come forward and highlight a few things happening here at Agape, but don't let her distract you from giving. Let her inspire you to give as soon as you hear her voice. Good morning. We've got a few highlighted announcements for you today. You can visit agapelive.com for more information and to find out about all of our weekly offerings. All times listed are Pacific Time. This Wednesday on the Take Back Your Mind podcast, Reverend Michael welcomes Matthew Fox, an author, theologian, and activist priest who for over 50 years has ignited an international movement to awaken people to be mystics, prophets, and contemplative activists who honor the earth and work for justice. Plus, Reverend Michael will answer your life question of the week and guide you in meditation. You can watch or listen to Take Back Your Mind with Michael B. Beckwith on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Subscribe or follow to receive alerts when new shows drop each Wednesday. Are you ready to consistently manifest a life of abundance, joy, creativity, and love that is based on your unique blueprint? Are you ready to be receptive to the universe's idea of your life and who you must become to manifest that vision? If so, unleash your destiny and register today for Life Visioning. Agape University presents our next class, Life Visioning. Join Reverend Coco Stewart for the five-week online class beginning January 23rd. If you participated in Reverend Michael's Gift to the Community, Vision Your Superpower, you are ready to go deeper into the practice principles and teachings that make the vision a reality in our world. This class is for you whether you are familiar with the life visioning process or new to the practice. Take advantage of this opportunity to learn and make the vision manifest by making it welcome through direct experiential practice. It's five Tuesdays beginning January 23rd, live on Zoom. If you can't make the live class, recordings will be sent. 
This class is a prerequisite for practitioner studies. Go to agapelive.com and register today. Today at 2 o'clock, One from the Heart is offering our online bereavement support group for those who have experienced the physical loss of a human loved one. Also meeting at 2 o'clock is our animal bereavement support group for the loss of an animal companion. Register on our website by clicking on the appropriate bereavement support banner. The Crisis Support Clinic is open tomorrow and offers Zoom mini counseling sessions from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first come, first serve complimentary one on one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisis support at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large and anybody may attend. One from the Heart Zooms hot. HOT, that's Honest Open Two Way Communication, on Saturday, January 20th at 1 p.m., featuring Reverend Coco Stewart, with guest speaker Janet Dion, marriage family therapist, agape practitioner, and certified integrative body psychotherapist. Sign up online to turn up the volume on communication as a spiritual practice. Go to agapelive.com forward slash hot. This is offered to the community at large, and anybody may attend. And finally for today, the One Love Ministry invites you to join our monthly gathering Saturday, January 20th, 9 a.m., live on Zoom. Our guest speaker, Agape Practitioner Tara Robinson, and her topic is Unleash Your Inner Masterpiece. Email lgbt at agapelive.com for the Zoom link and be a living work of art. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie. We just turn within in this moment and consciously bless, confer a blessing upon the generosity that is occurring right here at this moment. The promise in the promissory notes that are right now coming into agape, we see them being transmuted to the legitimate needs of an ever-growing spiritual community known as Agape International. It allows us to be stabilized and then to emerge to the next great vision and version of what we're meant to be directly from the spiritual idea that we caught in the vision process of Agape International Spiritual Center. We give thanks for this and we allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. As a few of you I see here in the sanctuary, if you have a desire to give in person a check or a money check or cash, there'll be somebody at the front door as you exit. You'll be able to do that as well. Thank you all for tuning in to the Way of Meditation service. Let us stand up wherever we are on the globe. Feel the beginning of this particular song called I Forgive Me, written by Tim McAfee Lewis, I'm Michael Bernard Beckwith, sung by Charles Holt. Listen. That brings me pain. I'm ready to give up the guilt that brings me pain. Now is the time for me to let go of the shame. Today is the time to let go the of all shame. Behind me. Let our past dissolve. I see it. Let us see anew. I'm ready for We're ready for a real change, not just going through changes. But a real change, a real transformation. Renewing our mind and not being conformed to the old version of the world. We forgive everything. Everything about ourselves, everything about the seeming other. And allow for the full flowing of the spirit of love and beauty, intelligence and abundance. And more than we can mentally comprehend. To emerge as an overflow, overflowing our present paradigm that we may leave with great openness to more good than we can imagine. That is where we live now, 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 and so it is. Amen. Peace and richest blessings to all of you. If you're in the L.A. area, come on up to Agape. We have an 11 a.m. meditation service, an 11.30 worship celebration service. The next service will begin at 8.30, meditation, Pacific time, and 9 o'clock for the worship celebration fellowship service. We'll see you then. Have a beautiful day. It's up to you.